see the camera? Can you see the camera? Say good morning, camera. Good morning. So good morning, everyone. Uh, Bella's school and she's in getting her breakfast. Took the day off to take Alec to his six month appointment at the Naval Medical Center San Diego, which is known as Babola. And then um, later in the afternoon after school, Bella has an appointment at the school for dentist. And then we have some showings at the house. <clears throat> And actually one of the showings is a double showing. So this is the second time the lady is coming back. So hopefully we'll have a buyer. What do you think, Alec? Here comes Bella with her breakfast. So what's your breakfast, Bella? Is this the breakfast of champions? Mm -hmm. You got shredded wheat, a banana, milk. Is that milk in a bag? Huh? Oh my gosh, show us how you drink out of that. That's so weird. So, get the milk out like that way, mm -hmm. and then do that, and then poke. That's it? Yeah. How do you get it in your cereal? Oh. Oh. You squeeze it, but I don't like it in my oh. cereal. You just eat the cereal plain? Yeah. And you drink the milk? <laughs> Yummy. Were there other options for you? Mm-hmm. Like what? Cause this doesn't look like a very much for a breakfast. What other things did they have that you could get? Like muffins, but I don't like those. I've tried them before. Okay. This where the cereal, I tried it before. Uh, so do they have fruit? <laughs> they had the fruit banana? Inside the cereal. Mm -hmm. And they had a uh, juice, mm -hmm. but I didn't want that. And they had milk. I just wanted a small one. Okay. Enjoy. Do you want to try one? No, I'm good. This is Bella's morning routine for the first grade. Put their snack in the wagon. So this is not really my everyday routine. It's only Thursday. On Thursday, they turn in their library books. And they put their book bags up. And then they put their folder in the pocket. They put their folder in a bucket, and then they put their planner in a bucket. Well, put it in your book bag now and zip it up. Alex, put me some marbles in there. Ready? You ready to go line up on the black top? How are you? Go. Hello, beefcake. How are you? She just put Can you just blow in his face a little bit? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not that bad, see? after Alex's appointment. It went very well. Um, he's 16.5 pounds and uh, I think he's a little bit smaller than Bella. I don't know. In my mind he seems a whole lot smaller than her. So I'm going to go home later today and pull out her baby book and just compare where he's at to where she was at. I think she was way bigger. Maybe 18 pounds? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'll check it out. But anyway, I'm in Target. 
gonna run in and get a couple things and then go home and clean up the house because we have two more showings today um, and now that I'm at Target it reminds me that I wanted to give you an update on my little homeless guy you know after I made the book bag I don't know three or four weeks went by and I hadn't seen him and I was getting antsy because I had the book bag in my Jeep and I really 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 wanted to give it to him and but I had like chocolate and candy in it and you know it was hot and I'm pretty sure it had melted so I was antsy to just give it away and you know I thought maybe he had left the neighborhood I'm not I, I don't know so I gave it away and then guess what three weeks later I see him again in the Target parking lot actually he was over closer to Lowe's but I was like oh my god there he is and I got all excited and I didn't have a book bag you know obviously but I did have like 20 bucks and I'm like I'm gonna give him 20 bucks so I park the car and I go in the parking lot like I walk over to where he was and he had disappeared I walked around the parking lot everywhere looking for him I don't know where he went but anyway a week later I see him again and I'm like, oh my God. And I jump in my Jeep. I didn't have any cash on me. So I jump in the Jeep and I, I drive over to the ATM and I get 20 bucks out. And then like I drive really fast to where I thought he would be like end up. You know, he's a slow walker, but that little dude's fast. So he can disappear like that. And anyway, I pulled up to him. And I'm like, hey, <laughs> I've been trying to help you out all these weeks. <laughs> and uh, we had a nice little conversation I gave him 20 bucks and I uh, asked him if he needed anything like you know something from uh, like Wendy's or Starbucks or you know any anything to eat and he, he said he didn't need it but you know he liked my Jeep and he thought I was a pretty lady and that was that so I feel satisfied that I helped him. I mean, it wasn't the book bag full of goodies that I spent a lot of time on thinking of just to give to him. But, uh, you know, whatever. At least I connected with him and, you know, I helped him a little bit. And you never know, maybe it was meant to be that I got antsy and I gave that book bag to someone else. Um... His name was Don, by the way, and he really needed a new book bag, so he was very happy that he got it. <coughs> Bella! Wakey, wakey! Wakey, wakey! Leroy's trying to wake you up. Wakey, wakey! It's time for ballet! <coughs> it's time for ballet! We have to get ready! We have to get ready for ballet! <laughs> it's time to get ready for ballet, sister. It's time to get ready. Wake up, sister. Wake up. Wake up, sister. Wake up. Oh, don't kick him in the face. <laughs> this is Bella's um, first year scrapbook. And I wanted to look inside to see where she was compared to where Alec is today at her six month appointment. Because I think Alec is smaller than what Bella was. Okay, so Alec is 16.5 pounds, and at Bella's four month appointment, she was already 16.5. So, let's see. So, at Bella's six month appointment, she was 18.8 .8 pounds, so like over two pounds more than where uh, Alec is today. <laughs> Wow, so I wonder if this is like a boy-girl thing. Do girls grow faster than boys? Like, what's that all about? I guess we'll have to, yeah, it's cool, it's a monkey, right? I guess we'll have to um, see as time goes by. But you know, looking through this book, I, I realized that I haven't, I haven't been archiving anything for Alex, so I should get on that. 
because I did the first year and the second year for Bella. So, yeah, something more to add. Hi guys, I've got some good news. We got an offer on our house last night. So exciting. So today starts our 30 days uh, that we have to be out of the house. If everything goes well, that will be sold. Awesome! And then when I came into work this morning, I had an email from my incoming commander where I work asking me if I would mind staying on board to be his writer. So awesome. That's what I needed. I wanted to remain in place at my current job or, you know, stay somewhere in San Diego. So that's a big stress off my shoulders. Two big stressors the house being sold and my job. So everything is great. So perfect. Everything is going as planned. And um, yeah, tonight Paul and I are going to go look at a furnished apartment where we're going to hang out for, you know, 90 days until the house is ready. So I shared my good news. So what's going on with you? What's your good news? Anything exciting happening in your life? Why don't you tell me in the comments below? You know, this isn't just a one-way thing. It can go both ways. Let's make it a two-way thing. Here we are in Paris checking up on the status of the house and it looks like they've dug and they've laid some sort of foundation but this is what it looks like now. We have about 90 days until it's completely done. Today is May 9th and this is supposed to be ours with the keys in our hand on August 7th. knows what it means, but it's provocative. It gets the people going. What are you talking about? It's our lot. What? I don't know hip hop will get the reference that I just placed. Because we're in Paris. All so hard. Um, that's our house. It's all good. Guys, it's Mother's Day weekend and we are at Cardiff at the Sea, which is sort of like near Solana Beach, near Del Mar, and we're um, here to meet our friends for lunch, uh, Pam and Erin, and uh, they're coming down from San Clemente, and we thought this would sort of be a place in the middle to meet. So we're going to have lunch, and then maybe we'll walk out on the beach, or I don't know, maybe we'll go onto town and look around at cool little shops and stuff. There's lots of artsy-fartsy stuff here, so... Yeah, we're gonna eat at um, a Pacific Cliff or something like that. Today is a statue's 16th birthday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Look at that tooth. Look at that tooth. Do you think it's gonna come out soon? Yeah. The 
this kid is only six months old and he's already pulling up on stuff. I mean, he's not very good at it, but he's doing it at least. And that is impressive for his age. Whoopsies. I think we have a mover and a shaker here. Good morning. It's Mother's Day. And I just rolled out of bed and threw some clothes on and sort of fixed my face, but not really. I just wiped away the mascara from under my eyes <laughs> and I drove over to uh, get my hair done uh, so yeah I sort of brushed it and just put it up in this uh, messy bun I'm really sure my colorist will appreciate the mess that I'm going to present her with but anyway I'm here at Gila Root this is where I get my hair done I've been coming here six to eight weeks every six to eight weeks for like the past two plus years and it's in a beta salon here I'll show you this is my joint yo my colorist is Shelly and I see her every time um, I do not have a favorite stylist for like my cuts and trims because they just rotate out a lot but Shelly is a constant so um since you know I had the pregnancy hair loss and it's starting to grow back. You can sort of see some of it growing back, little tiny baby hairs all through here and that they're gray and then I have like the sides. I'm going to get that fixed today. I'm going to get it colored, but then I'm going to get, um, get my bob. I'm going to cut it off. So I don't know, two years ago I started, I had a bob and I started growing it out and now it's like mid shoulder blade length but you know I always pull up in a, in a mess or a bun at work so you know whatever the only thing bad about getting a bob is that in my mornings I'm go 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 and and now I'm, ha I'm gonna have to stop and fix my hair every morning but you know it'll cover up these little baby flyaway hairs because my hair will be down um, so that's sort of my solution for that but after I get my hair done Paul and Bella are going to take me to see The Land of Oz, because The Wizard of Oz is my all-time favorite movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. So, here it is, guys. I got my bob back. I got my bob back. I got my color touched up and my highlights done. And I love it. What do you think? This is a nice look for summer. What do you think, Bella? I love your fancy makeup. You look beautiful, my love. Happy Mother's Day. How's your tooth? Oh my gosh. That stuff's gonna come out right soon. I bet you I could just go boop and it'll come out. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you later.